Howdy folks. So uh, another product review and uh, today I have the E-Tech City um, Soil Moisture Meter. This is a bit of an odd thing for my channel but uh, something I needed so uh, I thought uh, I'd just do a quick review on this and I promise it will be quick there's really not much to see here. So basically the idea with this is it's just a, a long spiky probe and you shove this into the soil down to about root level and uh, the meter just tells you you know on some sort of a relative scale uh, how much moisture is in the soil so you don't over or underwater your plants which is of course really important for some people because uh, people uh, some people I know really don't know how to uh, take care of plants so um, especially if, if it's a new plant and you know you don't know uh, you don't know how fast it it soaks up water stuff like that so the way that this works is really simple. Uh, there's no batteries. So obviously we've got a copper rod here and then there's a plastic insulator, this white piece. And then there's this uh, metal tip, which is a different metal. My guess is that this is probably zinc, but uh, I have no way of verifying what metal this is. Uh, maybe someone uh, maybe someone who knows could uh, leave that in the comments if they know, but I, my best guess is it's zinc. And basically, this basically creates a battery. So once you insert this into wet soil, um, the water acts like an electrolyte. And uh, this basically, uh, an electric current can flow here. And uh, they've just got a standard you know, magnetic coil meter here. So, um, and the amount of deflection is proportional to the amount of current that goes through it. So the more moisture in the soil, the more current through this uh, makeshift battery and the more the needle moves. So, uh, I mean, it's it's dead simple. This this thing costs probably absolutely nothing to make, and I'm not going to try and uh, do a teardown on this because A, there's no screws. I think it's probably glued together or ultrasonically welded or something, and uh, it, there's nothing to see in this. I guarantee you there is literally two wires that come out of this and just go to the meter. That's probably all that's in this. It, it's extremely light. Um, it it is a little bit uh, a little bit chunky on the back. There's no space between the words always and clean. So uh, well, yeah, I guess that's the only that's the only mistake on the actual product. But again, there's there's not not that much to screw up. Uh, I think this was like I think it was like ten bucks or something. Um, not not very expensive, and I wouldn't pay anything more than ten dollars. This is kind of my limit for this thing. Um, you cannot leave these in the soil. That's that's the only kind of annoying thing about this. Because, of course, if you leave it in the soil, um, the electrodes will corrode um, as they get used up. So you basically have to put this in and then remove it from the soil uh, immediately after after you've taken your, your reading. So that's kind of annoying because it would be cool, you know, if this was, even if this was a little bit cheaper and a little bit smaller, you could just put this in every plant uh, if you've got a few and then you just look at it. But uh, of course, uh, that doesn't work. The instructions this thing came with, which are just printed on the back of the packaging, um, which I don't have anymore, basically say always wipe it this way, which I I couldn't understand why they say do that because if you want to wipe dirt off of this, you wipe it this way, and I'm not really sure why that would even matter. But uh, if anyone actually think find, like knows why that why they would write that, let me know. But I don't. Uh, I, I, I just I just wipe it off with a paper towel or something that direction doesn't matter so yeah um, these things are actually really useful I mean it may look like a, a gimmicky thing but uh, if, if you've got a, a pot that is sealed on the bottom so it doesn't have a, a drainage tray this is actually really useful I actually you know I have a, a whole bunch of house plants and I water them all sort of the same and turns out one of them was like all of the rest of them were maybe let's say seven and one of them was completely bone dry and I would never have known uh, were it not for this so that was a potentially very important discovery so uh, yeah no I'm just waffling it's a simple device what what else is there really to say it works fine not that anything could really go wrong I mean there's a bunch of companies that make it but this company seems to make a whole bunch of stuff um, just generic random crap and uh, I guess whatever it was cheap and uh, it was on Amazon Prime so uh, I needed it to get free shipping so anyway hopefully that was interesting thanks for watching